Hey, do you guys want to guess where a million is on this board? Do you want to do it? Thousand, billion, where is a million? It'll be fun! Right? Ooh! That's way off. It's a linear scale, yes. One thousand, one millions and a billion, yes? Yes. And 1,000 offsets, so I want to go up by like a thousand, that's like a fraction. A hundred million more than times more? Thousand, ten million. Uh, I don't know, I just start counting like what will be. You need 10,000 and this is a thousand. So that's what I did. Okay, yep. It was just a random guess essentially, but I knew it wasn't in the middle. In a study from 2013, about 50% of people thought that a million would land somewhere in the middle. The correct answer should be somewhere around here. The study found that people just generally have a hard time comprehending large numbers. But why is that? So if I was going to ask you to imagine uh, three Cheerios in front of you, you could do that, right? If I ask you to imagine 65 Cheerios in front of you, can you do that? People have difficulty comprehending large numbers because our brains aren't really built to handle them. We think about numbers that we encounter on a daily basis. We are typically dealing with quantities up to tens and hundreds. And beyond that, it's just sort of difficult to comprehend. It's just not something that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. But what does it mean when we say our brains aren't really built to handle large numbers? Our brains are using networks that were really devoted to other functions to help us make sense of these numbers. So we're sort of recycling evolutionarily very old brain circuits to help us make sense of relatively newer concepts that we are talking about and grasping in different ways that we really hadn't done before. Is there an actual threshold where our brains start to fail? I don't know that there is an exact threshold. Scientists think that we have sort of two different systems for thinking about number and that we might use a different system and a different set of brain networks for understanding very small numbers. But when you start thinking about larger numbers where you have to count to understand how many there are of something, you might be using a different brain system. So what can we do about it? Visualization can be really powerful. If you're trying to get a certain point across about how much of something there is and you really want people to understand that, give them a visual that is meaningful. Using metaphors, so if you think people understand or have a sense for a specific quantity, doing a comparison to that using metaphor is really helpful. Using ratio can be really helpful, bringing it down to a scale that people can understand and really wrap their minds around. It's not that our brains are uh, wrong or bad or that there's something defective about them. It's that we are doing something very new with very old brains. It's not about being bad math. Like this is really like a perception thing. It's really about being aware of that perception so that way you can use the tools that are available to help you where it matters.